Okay, good night everybody. Welcome back. We're going into second phase. Last time we did the introduction to the spike with uh, what we call a thrust, where we just roll the ball out of our hand like this to the wall. First like this and then to the wall. And, and we did the introduction also to the overarm volleys. So we're gonna take it up a, a notch. So we're gonna start with overarm volleys. Now, we started out, just a little recap, we started out by squeezing the ball from our palm like this. And then we went overhead to do the same. And I remember I was telling you that we, did, we didn't have to do this, but now we're gonna add that. And um, the reason for that is for extension. You want to get the ball to go as far as you possibly can. So you need that arm movement to get the ball as far as you can. But first, we're gonna do what is called, what I call cushioning of the ball. So you're going to learn how to cushion the ball. Now some persons, when they try it, trying to do it, the ball is bubbling around in their hands like that. But the same diamond-like form that you use when you're squeezing the ball out, that's how you want to catch the ball. But you want to reach up and come down with the ball and stop it just above your head like this. So that's why I call it cushioning because you're going to go up your hand is not touching the ball and when the ball is coming now you're getting closer and then you stop it. So you don't want to do this. You don't want to get that crashing sound. Must just don't even hear it. Reach, pull and stop. Reach, pull, stop. Reach, pull. My ceiling is a bit low. So Now, when you're practicing this, you want to do it and stop the ball above your forehead, not on your nose or your mouth, all right? So it's supposed to be here, all right? Next thing you want to practice while you're doing that is to keep your right leg forward because as a setter, you're gonna have the net to your right. And if you have the left leg forward, that means your chest is going to be pointing towards the, the, the antenna and the net. And when you sit like that, then the ball is going to, most of the time, be drifting towards the net. And your attacker will not have a good chance to score. So you want to give your attacker as much chance to score as possible. So you get the left, the right leg forward, and you keep the ball off the net. All right, That will help you to keep the ball off the net. So, remember, right leg forward and just practice by passing up and coming down, cushioning, cushioning. And remember, keep the ball above your forehead, cushioning, cushioning, cushioning. Now, after you get a couple of reps so that can you feel comfortable now, then you can start doing cushion up, cushion up and do that squeeze and flick it back up. Then, after you do a couple reps of that, I mean, you can do 50 or 100, depending on how fit you feel, the shoulders, and maybe even a thousand, yeah. Then, you can take it up another notch and go cushion in the cushion in the cushion in the cushion cushion and so, this movement, cushion, and then out. You're doing the same wrist squeeze. The only difference is this time, you're adding the elbows to go to give you that extra movement. You can also, without adding the elbows, flip the wrist faster and squeeze faster. That will help the ball to go a little further, but not as far as when you add the elbows. All right? so. Those are the drills you can practice.
for over what is all right